On my property alone, I have 22 oak trees that are over 100 years old. And so we were just in the house with no electric and hearing them fall. And we would sit on the piano bench and watch them. And it would be just like rain, except it was tree limbs. I put in online a form for them to come and um, look at my house and see if they could help me out. I was not able to open my front door other than about 18 inches. You cannot walk out my back door at all still right now. They are working toward that. People call into our, it's okdisasterhelp.org, okay, and then they fill out a form and we get a copy of that and then we come out and see them and see what they have and do the work. As of yesterday, there was 35 and that's just in the metro. That's not counting the other two areas that we're working out of, which is down around Lawton and then up in Enid. Did you guys anticipate receiving more? Or? Oh, a lot more. It's like uh, my IT lady told me, she said, you know, you have to stop and think about this. People don't have electricity. They can't get on the internet, most of them. So until they get electricity, most people won't be able to do anything. I keep telling my guys, you know, we're gonna, we've already asked for teams for four weeks and we have other states coming in to help us. We'll be at at least four weeks, if not more. We are chaplains with them, and then we also, he's on the chainsaw. Just wherever they need us, that's where we go. My philosophy, personally, is I've always wanted to be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud, and at the end of the day, you're tired, but it's a good tired because you have helped someone else and be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud. And now they're being a rainbow in mine. Makes me feel like I am being used by my savior, Jesus Christ, to reach people, because that's really what I'm all about, is just reaching, G reaching people for Jesus.